Friends and fans, so here's the long-awaited Messenger tutorial. There's the app. Get it from the App Store. Um, this is what you're probably used to seeing is a lot of messages in Messenger. That's fair enough. Um, if you swipe down hard, like I just did then, that turns it to camera. What I wanted to show you is you've now got the stories across the top. So in the Messenger app, this is called Messenger Day. And it's a lot like Facebook stories and Instagram stories. This is what the home looks like. Then you've got calls. So you can now group chat, audio call or, you know, like Skype, like FaceTime. You can now video call. Um, this is the camera. So, hello, that's me. Hello, that's me. Recording you. So if you tap on this, you can just take a picture, and if you hold it, you see the red start building up until it takes, do you know what, I'm not sure how long it is, I think it's 30 seconds, um, of a clip there. I'm not going to do it now because it will cut me off. So um, that's what the camera app's like. If you swipe to the left, it will let you use one of your previously enjoyed photographs. There's me teaching somebody the other day how to do it. <laughs> and if you swipe that way, back to the camera and swipe again that, whoops, swipe again that way. Um, you can go into, um, this is a lot like on Facebook itself, um, you know, where you can start writing something in there. This is worthy of a whole tutorial on its own, how you use all this, but just seeing as we're doing an, an overview of what it all means, I'll come back to that. Groups is, you know, different groups of people that you work with or or your fam. So in this case, this is my family one and it's all full of bloody stickers from Daisy. This is worthy of its own video on its own. So now you've got sharing locations, creating plans, blah, 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 creating your own gifts. You've got extensions. See, did you know all this was in Messenger? Right, so that's just here on this... I'm going to exit to get rid of it. That's on this plus tab. Again, the camera facing towards you or away from you. Here, photos that you already have. X out of it. Um, photos on your camera roll. You know, you can see a whole bunch of them if you click on that. Again, X out of it. Um, Press and hold to send. Daisy, I am using you as a test case because I'm teaching people how to use Messenger. Bye-bye now. So as I let go of that, that goes through to Daisy's phone and that's a little message. So there's so many ways now of interacting with a group. So this is why I'm interested in it for business, small business, um, volunteers, uh, customer focus groups, if you're in a, um, that was my elbow on the desk by the way, <laughs> um, so you can think of a million different ways where, where you would want a group of people and you would want to be able to interact with them in this much more dynamic way than an endless load of emails, so on and so forth. As you all know, if you tap on that, you can type text or you can put emojis in, um, this one's also got all the bloody stickers and all the bloody gifts. So, you, you know, you type in there, um, I don't know, what, what the hell? Oops, I'm trying to type it on my keyboard instead of on my phone. But, um, you know, ha happy, mad, sad, glad, I don't know, whatever the heck. Um, And then all the emojis there. So more than enough stuff to see you through the afterlife, really. <laughs> Just in that bit alone. So we're going to come back out of groups. It's not just groups that you can interact like that with, obviously. So we're back down here. Individual people. And this is... Whoops, stroke down. A hard stroke from the top is what quickly brings up the camera because a lot more of what we're going to do um, going forward is going to be 
in real time, capturing it on your phone, answering people, that sort of thing. So just I'm going to X out of that. Um, there's all and active, so you can see who's there now. And the other thing on the all tab um, is you can see, you remember when people used to say, um, it's it's gone to your others, it's in your others folder. Well, this is, um, you know, other people that have messaged you that you're not connected with friends. This is how to scan somebody's code, get the camera up, click on their code, that adds it direct. Cancel that. Um, you know, they, these are all obvious, you know. Invite people to Messenger. I mean, this is going to come up with my mum who only uses a desktop and therefore has no mobile device to connect to Messenger. So, gosh, that's quite a lot, isn't it? So if we go back to home, up here is you. And that's where you find your code. So if you wanted to open up the camera and click on this sort of bar code, that will immediately add me into your messenger. Not that you necessarily want to do that, but um, that's how you go about adding people to a group chat, adding people to your messenger, so on and so forth. You can scroll down these and play with them at your at your leisure. This is quite a funny one, Secret Conversations. This, um, this video will self-destruct in 30 seconds. It means nothing to the young people, but us oldies used to watch something called Mission Impossible, and that was something they used to say all the time. So have a look through that. Tell me if anything isn't obvious. Um, to you. Then over here is how you send a message, you know, so to Pete, to Pete Nichols. Uh, testing. I'm sure he'll be pleased to receive that at work. Um, but yeah, so you've got the ability to do it in a group or just personally, all those things that I showed you before. Um, so the new thing basically is your day. So you just tap on that add to my day. Um, you can either say, right, so here's what you can do. So you can write on it, right, which is not very good. And then you can undo it. Undo it, undo it. Um, whilst you're in this writing tool, if you stroke down this bar here, you can get all the different colours. Now see as I'm stroking up and down, you can see that the colours. If I stroke across, you can see how wider, fatter, thicker the brush tip is getting. So... You can write with different colours and different... Hey, you can amuse yourself all day playing with that, couldn't you? So, and you just undo it with that. This one's the text. Again, you've got the slidey uppy downy. So I start saying, uh, messenger. Um done then it will bring up um, what do they call that now frames I think so there's all these different frames that you can put you can use that text to create a frame so who's up for messenger um, and then if you if it's put it on there and you don't want it you just stroke up until you see the bin okay um, what else can we do whilst we're in here? So we can change the colour. Change the colour. I'm going to leave that white. Um, you can pinch it. To, you know, all the things that you would be able to do normally. Um, then you've got the 
um, different sort of emojis and um, filters and things, depending on what your business is or who it is you're talking to. Some of these days, some of these might be relevant as you're adding them to your story. If you've taken a picture of yourself rather than one off your camera roll, then no, here we go. My Thursday. And then to get rid of it, see that little down arrow there above all the masks? And then you can add that in. All kinds of things. If you want to download it to your phone, if you've made a real work of art and you think that you can use it several times on your website, on your Facebook stories, on your Instagram stories, on your Snapchat stories, on your wherever the heck, you've made a real work of art, by all means, download it to your phone. But other than that, you would just add it to your story. So you forward arrow. It automatically adds it to my day. You can uncheck that if it's just to go to one person in particular. There's another option to remind you, you can download this to your camera roll if it's something deep and meaningful. Um, but pretty much most people would just add it to their day, press send, and then you see it building there and it's added to the day. Um, a million things to do on this app. So I'm going to leave it there as a briefity brief overview and then let you download it if you haven't already got it, let you open it and have a play and then come back to me with any questions. But hopefully you can see that although it's got a lot of toys um, and some stuff that looks a little bit like for kids, but the idea is it opens up so many more avenues of how you can... Um, interact with people so all that is you know like Facebook had um, messenger you know pages groups messenger all in the one Facebook app now that you can split those out as individual apps we haven't been able to for ages but they're so much easier to manage and they're pretty powerful as a standalone thing so yeah give it a whirl tell me what you think see if you can see what you would use that for. I would set up a group of potential people that have looked at my product or people that are getting back to me or people that are coming to my event or your family so that your kid can keep standing your bloody stickers all the time. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's um, that will do for now and let me know um, let me know if this was helpful. Okay guys, love you. Miss you.